Welcome back to the Mr. Showtime Podcast. <laughs> now, I've been uh, hearing so much about this whole fiasco of uh, the passport bros. You know, it's basically men in the westernized nations traveling overseas to go find suitable and submissive and cooperative women to date, to sort of settle down with, because women in the westernized nations are feminists and they've become unruly and they've been possessed by the spirit of Lilith and Jezebel, right? And Mr. Showtime is finally going to weigh in uh, and give my perspective. And in this video, I'm here to tell you that uh, if you're planning to come down here to South Africa, f you know, to find a suitable uh, female to date, Mr. Showtime has this to tell you. <laughs> Don't come to South Africa. Do not come here to South Africa. Whatever problems you're trying to escape in America, you will find the exact same quintessential problems here in South Africa, okay? The exact quintessential same problems. It's no different. Because South Africa is a westernized nation too. Right? Now, I've done a collaboration with Mumia Obsidian Ali. He gave me an opportunity to come on his uh, show and give my uh, perspective and South Africa. Because a lot of you Americans, you tend to think, you tend to uh, have this stereotype that Africa is one gigantic mud plane and all of us are the same. And wherever you are in Africa, you know, one of us just has, you know, on a weekend, we can just decide to go from... Namibia and walk all the way up to North Africa to Algeria to visit a friend and then walk all the way down here it's like Africa is huge Okay, Americans Africa is huge and no, we are not a country. We're a continent dozens of countries here and the dynamics and the people are different especially South Africa we are a multi-ethnic homogenous uh, society with various types of demographics. We have uh, blacks, we have uh, Caucasians, we have Indians, we have Arabs, we have Asians, just like America. No, there's very little differences uh, uh, with you Americans, right? So, you know, if, if, you, if you come here in South Africa, um, you'll find many similarities. Uh, we have um, urban schools, um, rugby, uh, it, it, it's big over here, which you guys, you have your NFL, we have our rugby, similar sporting codes, you guys have baseball, we have cricket, um, and hockey, and netball, and so forth, and, so, and swimming, and, and, and so forth. I went to a so-called English and African school, right? So, this is how I'm able to analyze and, you know, and break down these things in, a, in, a, in an articulate fashion. Um, I was raised, I was born and raised in a middle class income family background, right? Went to uh, English and Afrikaans schools, just like I said. So yeah, uh, South Africa, is a, it's a beautiful nation, right? It's a wonderful country, diverse. Uh, we are a world-class tourist destination, right? And I'd like to have you know that dating here in South Africa due to feminism, it is so, sort of lowered marriage rates across all the boards, across all demographics in, in, in the black community. The white community, uh, some of the people that I went to high school with, I see... Quite a number of them are on their on their Facebook. They're getting married. They're getting engaged, and yeah, I would say they're still able to uh, you know uh, sustain the nuclear family, right? Even though the marriage rate is declining because some of the women out here are feminists and they have feminist talking points. But it depends which economic class you, you're talking about. You, you know, in the white community, you get your lower class, your, how, how you say, your, your trailer park trash, 
you know, you, you, you stone cold Steve Austin types. <laughs> and then you get your middle class and then you get your upper class type of folks, right? But they're all the same regardless. Women all around, they're the same. Modern women today, they're the same. They have the exact same quintessential talking points, feminist talking points. In the black community, marriage went from 80% to now, now it's down below 20%. People my generation are hardly getting married. Not one black woman that I went to high school with is married. But a lot of them are choosing to be single mothers. There's women I know, I, I know personally that regurgitate feminist talking points and talk about, oh, I, I, I prefer being a single mother and if I get a, 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 um, a, a man, he can uh, have his own house, separate house, separate bedrooms, and I'll have my own house because I want to maintain my independence. And I'm like, wow. Sounds like a lot of the, the, the black women in America and England. It's the same everywhere, guys. Westernized nations, it's a rap scheme. Feminism has single-handedly dismantled the nuclear family. Now, it wasn't always like this. Black, uh, black people, like, in our parents' generation, in, in, in our grandparents' generation, they, they stuck together. Even during uh, the harsh era, if you know what I'm talking about. But women today, you know, because thanks to first world problems, they'll break up over the most frivolous, frivolous things. Oh, his elbows are too ashy. He's not good enough. And then their friends, they, 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 they sabotage their relationships. Whispering all sorts of bullshit, of bull crap in their ear. Talking about, oh girl, you deserve better. And don't even get me started on the whole outbreak of uh, social media. You tell the, av the, the, the average modern woman today that she should delete all, so all her social media platforms and, you know, because that's what's ruining relationships you say that to her she will glitch like a robot malfunctioning sparks will fly out, out of her for, for ears like pss, pss, pss. her head will, will freaking turn around 360 and she will totally glitch she'll go bananas feminism social media the mainstream media agendas these uh, feminist uh, talk shows these women who they themselves are not married, these TV presenters, they themselves are not married because they belong to the industry. And we all know what goes on in the industry, right? I'm not gonna get into that. This is a family show. But anyway, <laughs> South Africa is no different. My point, in, in a short nutshell, South Africa is no different. Passport bros, don't come here. Austin Holloman got uh, Holloman got uh, featured in the um, one of your talk uh, your mainstream Fox News uh, platforms over in America, saying that he's uh, degrading black women. He's talking down to black women. I don't, I can't see one video where Austin Holloman is talking down to black women. Why does it have to be about degrading black women? Why can't a man just be happy elsewhere? But you see. This is what we call plantation politics. They want men to be, you know, forever miserable, right? They want men to be uh, miserable. A lot of these married men are in sexless, miserable marriages. I have married women in my inboxes yelling at me, calling me a misogynist, chauvinist, because I'm, I'm, I'm putting out these videos. And the same type of woman is married with kids. And my response to them is like, Madam, wh 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 why does this trigger you? You, you happily supposedly happily married with kids. The dogs, the two and a half kids, the white picket fence, the whole nine yards. Why, why are you in my comment section for? Why, wh wh why, what are you attacking me for? Clearly she's the one that wears the pants in her relationship, in her marriage. See, most men of today, ladies and gentlemen, are sedated. 
It's, the, it's been statistically proven that married men's testosterone tend to lower because they become sedated. Shame. But anyway, listen, I just wanted you to give a, a, a clear picture of uh, how westernized South Africa is. Don't come here. You know, you'll find the exact same problems you're trying to escape in America or in England or any other westernized nation. South Africa and America are two, two, two pieces apart. The exact same. We have certain universities here that are just leftist central, such as Wits University. I went to go visit that university, you know, uh, during my spare time, aside from my own uni university. I, I went to, you know, just to tour around. And they have all sorts of uh, pride parades and, and, and leftist, like, like the, ch the kids over there are just sick. The modern women are just like, marriage is not an option for modern women. They're a lost cause. I went there and I was like, yo, where on earth am I? It's, it's the equivalent to you guys, uh, California, Los Angeles, California. You know, all those weird leftist liberal uh, types of uh, states. Yeah, this is the exact same. Leftist central. But anyway, not to make this video long, South Africa is the exact same. And I know there's a lot of people that can agree with this, if they may, in the comment section, if they're not afraid of their women. That's another thing about modern, uh, modern men. You're afraid of your women. In what other time in history were men afraid of their women? Can you imagine Genghis Khan? Can you imagine Shah Zulu? Uh, uh, who else? Can you imagine Julius Caesar like, oh, <laughs> I don't want to be put in the doghouse. You soy boy sedated males. You don't even deserve to be called men. You deserve to be called males. Scared of your women. Oh, what would my wife say? Hilarious. But anyway, that's Mr. Short Time's take um, about this whole passport bros uh, um, escapade. Don't come here. You will find the exact same problems in America. <laughs> South Africa is the exact same, right? But anyway, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, cheers. Don't come here. Okay. <laughs>